Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read question intersection of two linked lists. Okay, let me explain with this example. So let's think about this question with small example. So first of all, let's think about only this part. So we start from 1, from A, and also we start from 1, from B. And if we move one position, so both linked lists reach 8, right? In that case, we can find the intersection node easily, right? And then how about uh, this case? So uh, we start from 4, from A list, and we start from 6, from B list. And uh, let's move one by one. And uh, we find a 1 from A, and also find 1 from B, but a different node. And then move one more. Then uh, we can find the intersection node, right? So this case is also easy, right? And uh, how about uh, this case? So we start from 4 um, on A list, and we start from 5 on B list, and uh, move next, find 1, move next, find 6, and uh, next, find 8, and uh, find 1. So in this case, we cannot find the intersection node. That's because length of A and B is different, right? So question is, how can we make them the same length? I think a simplest way to answer that question is that we use um, both lengths. I mean, uh, if we traverse A list first, then uh, move um, head of B and then start traversing again. On the other hand, if we start from B first and after that um, move back to head of A and then start traversing again so that we can make two lists the same ranks. I mean, 4, 1, 8, and after that, 5, 6, 1, 8. And then on the other hand, uh, if we traverse uh, B first, 5, 6, 1, 8, and after that, 4, 1, 8. And uh, when we reach 8, um, we can find the intersection node, right? So that is a basic idea. And uh, so we don't have to care about uh, actually this part because uh, this part is a uh, common, right? So more precisely, so list A is um, 4, 1, 8, 4, 5. And the list B is 5, 6, 1, 8, 4, 5. And the uh, different lengths, right? But after that, um, so after we finish iteration A list, so let's go back to head of B list and then start traversing again. So in that case, 5, 6, 1, 8, 4, 5. And uh, from B, uh, we go back to head of A list and then start traversing again. In that case, 4, 1, 8, 4, 5. So in this case, look at uh, this 8. So when we reach 8, so we can find the intersection node, right? Okay, let's check null case quickly. So if we start from list A, so this should be 2, 6, 4, and then null. And uh, after that, uh, go back to head of B, and 1, 5, and null. And uh, if we start from B, 1, 5, and null, and uh, go back to head of A, and 2, 6, 4, and no. So 2, 1 is different, 6, 5 also different, 4, no, different, no, 2, different, 1, 6, different, 5, 4, different, and no, no, they are same, right? So we stop iteration, all we have to do is just return no in this case. That is a basic idea to solve this question, so let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, list A equal head A, and list B equal head B. So I'll explain why we don't use head A and head B later. Anyway, uh, let's continue. While list A is not equal list B, in the case we continue, and uh, first of all, list A equal list A dot next if list A exists. Uh, otherwise, um, update head b, right? 
So this is a reason. So if we use like a head B or head A, in that case, we cannot go back head of list A and head of list B. So that's why uh, we use uh, list A and list B. So we do the same thing. So list B equal list B dot next if list B exists. Else, so we go back to head of list A, right? So head A. And then after that, just return uh, one of uh, like a list A or a list B. So return list A. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of m plus n. m is a length of um, list A and n is a length of list B. And the space complexity is, I think, O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.